welcome to Oxford Heirlooms. Today, we're going to be preparing the little hem and then sewing it for our little Laura day gown. Now, the materials that I need right now, I need the day gown. I have it buttoned down the front. Um, the top seam allowance matches up. The bottom of the gown matches up. I've got my blue fabric marking pen, my sewing gauge, and some silk pens. Okay, now I'm gonna start out, a little speck there, at the front center of the garment. This particular pattern says that we should have a two inch hem allowance. Okay, so at the front where the lace matches up to the entredeau, I'm gonna put a little blue mark um, on the left front center, and then I'm going to make a little blue mark on the right front center. Okay, because I want to make sure that when I hem the garment and close it, the hems match up from side to side. Okay, now I'm gonna set those things aside for just a minute, and I'm gonna turn the little day gown inside out, and then I will put it on my ironing board. And what I'm going to do next is I'm gonna turn my hem up one quarter of an inch. Okay, using my iron, but that'll take me a minute to do. Okay, so I have ironed one quarter inch all along the bottom edge of the seam. Now, I've got the inside front piece right now, um, and I'm going to be folding it up one and three quarters of an inch, but right here at the center front, um, rather than measuring with my seam gauge, I'm going to fold it um, at the little blue at the little blue mark that was two inches from the bottom because I want to make sure that my garment lines up from side to side. Now using my um, sewing gauge, uh, since we turned it up a quarter of an inch, I'm going to pin my hem at one and three quarters of an inch because one quarter and one and three quarters adds up to two. So I'm gonna be pinning this all along the edge of the bottom of the garment. Um, and at the front center on the other side, the side that has the lace on it, I'm gonna fold it up until I'm at my blue mark, line up my entredeau ladder, and I'm going to pin that side too. And then I'm just going to, before I start doing any sewing or any further pinning, I'm just gonna to check to make sure my hems line up from one side to the other, and they do, so that, that works out real well. So this will take me a minute to get this hemmed all along the bottom of the garment. Okay, I've got my one and three quarter inch hem pinned all along the edge of the garment. I have lined up my side seams, making sure that they're pressed towards the back. But what I want you to notice, because the fabric on the side, the side seam came down at a little bit of an angle, we've got a little bit of a gap that we need to take care of before we actually sit down and hand hem it. So I'm going to carefully fold this toward the inside or toward the side seam, and then I'm going to pin it. I'll do that on both sides of both seams. So I've got that pinned neatly. Uh, there's just a little bit too much fabric uh, to try to ease this in. Um, and if you try to ease it in, you know, the hem might end up puckering. So can you see what I've done here at this side? Let me see if I can show you what I did. Okay, I've got that pinned in place. Now I'm gonna do this to the other side and then I'll be ready to using my preferred method to sew in a hem, I'm gonna hem this garment using a pink thread and a needle. Okay, so I'm doing the same thing on the other seam that I did on the first seam. I'm simply overlapping my fabric, folding it towards the back seam and pinning it in place, okay? Can you see what I have done there? Oh, I've got a pin that came out. Okay, so I am ready to hem this garment and that will take me a few minutes. Okay, so I have the garment hemmed using some tiny little 
quarter inch width stitches. Now notice at the front two corners, I went ahead and mitered my inside corner so that I wouldn't have a little raggedy edge hanging out. I also mitered the edge of my lace. Now I'm gonna turn the garment right side out again, and then I'm gonna press the hem using my iron because I don't press this until after I have it hemmed. Okay, so this will take me a minute to get that pressed. Okay, so that's neatly pressed and the hems line up from side to side um, at the front edge of the garment. So in the next video, we will begin to make the little sleeves for this garment. Um, and I just wanted to remind you that if you'll email me at oxfordheirlooms at gmail.com, if you haven't already emailed me to ask for the embroidery design that's gonna go on the bonnet of the, the bonnet that we're making to go with this day gown, I can email this to you. Uh, right now, you know, I'm still small fry on YouTube, so I'm responding to people personally. But I'll put that up as a slide at the end of the video also. But hemming the gown was what we were doing today, and we will start creating the little sleeves in the next video. Thank you.